Edmund Charles Jeannette was born January 8, 1763, in Versailles, France. He was the son of Edme Jacques Jeannette, a translator and interpreter for the French royal government. When he was a teenager, Edmund became fluent in Italian, English, Sweden, and Latin. His parents, as well as the French queen, saw his potential and sent him on a tour of Germany and Austria to improve his skills. In 1781, after his father's passing, Edmund started to work for the French Bureau of Interpretation. Rising in the ranks of his department, in 1788, he was posted to St. Petersburg, Russia, as secretary. He was kicked out of Russia in 1792, but I out of Russia in 1792 mm. by the royalist government in the French Revolution after legation. He supported the cause of revolution in France and as a consequence was joining the Giordanus faction. He was sent to America on a mission to cement relations with new United States government and to convince the Americans to join with France in its war with England. Jeanette's arrival in Philadelphia was further delayed by storms at sea, which blew his warship, the Embuscade, far to the south at Charleston, South Carolina, where it landed on April 9, 1793. Jeanette paid to have four privateer ships, the Republican, Sans Colette, Anti-George, and the Citizen Jeanette in Charleston for raids against the British. He attempted to raise an army of American forces under the command of the alcoholic George Rogers, George Rogers to attack the Spaniards in Louisiana and Florida and the British in Canada. The average American respected George Washington, so the American policy was not damaged. Washington wanted a few years of peace in order to build ties with other nations, which could not happen if Jeanette was tampering with political matters. Hamilton wanted to kick Jeanette out of the country, but Jefferson wanted to keep him around. Jeanette was treated to lavish events by American factions that took his side. At one reception, he met Cornelia Tappan Clinton, the governor of New York's daughter. They would soon marry. In May 1793, 400 participants trained through the streets in red liberty caps because word of Jeanette's arrival. Washington wanted Jeanette out of the country, but Jeanette got granted asylum. At the age of 31, Jeanette retired and purchased a farm. He also bought an estate called Prospect Hill in East Greenbush. They settled into their home, which was also used as a fort for Indian attacks. Jeanette's retirement life was occupied with unfulfilled dreams, but he was still happy. He thought about re-entering France, but never made it. He felt that the people of France had wrongfully blamed him for the fail failure of his diplomatic mission. He waited 40 years for a vindiction that never came. His political views were somewhat fulfilled when, he, when the United States declared war against England in 1812. After 1814, he would visit the Greenbush Cantonment and make speeches to the soldiers there. He took the role of political advisor for the Demo Democratic Republican Party. Edmund Jeanette died on July 14, 1834.